So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Sun Saturn conjunction in the fifth house of your horoscope. As in what happened when Sun and Saturn are conjunct in your fifth house of your astrological birth chart. And as all of you do not know, if you have this particular conjunction, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all the other astrological details for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, go to my books, consultations, and link to my academy, Magavedic Astrology Academy, where I also have my blogs slash like podcast, you can call it, where I discuss everything uncensored so yeah um and also remember november 13th my movie's coming out premiere 11 p.m live on Kara's channel so what is sun saturn in the fifth house so fifth house represents children education fun activities stage performance creativity your deeds from past life it's what the, the fruits of your past life deeds are seen from the fifth house. Why? Because it's the tenth from the eighth house. Eighth house is the activity that has occurred in the past. Fifth house also represents um, even scholarship. Fifth house uh, represents mantras, learning ancient knowledge, ancient, you know, wisdom. It's also the gain of your gain, or, or you can say wealth of the mother. So you have now Sun and Saturn in the fifth house. One of the first thing you be see with Sun and Saturn in the fifth house is one has late children. The other thing we also see that especially a person does cannot fully concentrate on their education, on their studies when they're young. The mind is becomes very frickled. One looks at the world um, in a very street smart way instead of like actual that orthodox you know education that one receives one will fight and argue with people within their uh, uh, school environment one can get into a lot of fights when they were young but one thing you will notice is that with this position whenever somebody you know, boosts their ego, has too much ego, too much pride. Whether even if they don't have anything in their life, whenever they purposely show too much pride, out in the open, they get insulted. They get humiliated. And this is why this particular placement of Sun and Saturn, you need to be extremely humble. Even if you're a millionaire, billionaire, the more humble you are, only then you will get respect in society and most definitely sun and saturn uh, becomes this dry and bleak desert of romance and marriage because marriage becomes this part of responsibility and you will also see um with sun and saturn that a person either the person or their father could deal with a lot of like pain in the spine especially around either 29th or 33rd year usually one can even have children you know around these ages but marriage wise this is this is this is a place where a person completely ignored their marriage in past life and now all your work effort your determination your sweat and tears will have to go into maintaining the marriage and relationship. Doesn't matter if it's your first, second, third, or fourth. Because it's it's easy to escape from cer certain karmas. Well, just by filing a divorce. Well, I'm 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 now rid of this uh, issue and problem in my life. No. Because what are you gonna do? After that, you're gonna seek for somebody new. Same thing will repeat because this is something you have to pay. You have is saying this particular position says, do not expect any fruits of romance and you know that compassion and passion within a relationship. All you can expect is that you have to do the work. Now, depending upon the sign and nakshatra this conjunction is in. 
uh, a remedy can definitely work. Usually, especially with Saturn, when it's related to Saturn, Vastu remedies are very powerful. Sun and Saturn both actually. Vastu remedies become very powerful. But, you know, there's no like one size fits all because we have to look at the, you know, details of the placement of this particular, um, you know, conjunction. And I also see that um, father would be in administration, administrative work, government related work. Usually uh, the education will be related to civil engineering, uh, secretary, you know, people even get like, you know, certificates and like professional secretary. Uh, and natural interest in mechanical education or political science. Not political science, sorry. Because uh, that's with a different planet. Uh, God, what was this? I forgot the one my mind. Um, it's somehow connected with understanding society. Uh, but but once I remember it, I will put it here. You know, but mainly it is mechanical education, civil engineering. Mechanical engineering. I have seen so many of them, tons of them. Okay. And the other thing we also see is that spouse, especially if this is a male's chart, spouse will definitely deal with like labor pains. A lot of, you know, uh, difficulty, like especially I've seen long pregnancy, meaning, you know, like once you're dilated, you're waiting for the water to break. You're waiting for giving birth. This can, it can happen literally for 14 to 18 hours before you can even give birth. Okay. So anyway, guys, this is my analysis of Sun and Saturn conjunction in the fifth house of your chart. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your particular conjunction is, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all these logical details, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.